Hey guys, it's your girl Blessed Faith today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be doing a q and A. I I was recommended by Victoria to do this so I'm answering all 20 of her questions. This is also celebrating that I finally made it over 100 subscribers so thank you guys so much for supporting and if you haven't subscribed please like and subscribe um, and learn more about me. Number one, what's your name? So my name is LaFaith Massacoy, but I also go by the nickname Blessed. Um, so you guys can call me either or. That's why I have my YouTube name being Blessed LaFaith. Makes things easier. Um, number two, um, where am I from? I'm from the U.S. Um, number three. Uh, how many siblings do you have? I have two siblings and they're both girls. And then number four, um, am I single or married? I'm single, single. Like, so there's like married and then there's like single, like I'm talking to someone, I'm single, single. Um, then number five, um, what is your favorite alcoholic drink? I don't drink um, alcohol, however, I do love drinking boba uh especially like mango slush boba um there's winter melon at kung fu tea i love i, I love kung fu tea. point period blurred um also i really love coconut water it's so good okay then number six what made you want to start youtube so what made me want to start YouTube, I originally like had another YouTube channel where I was singing and being silly and goofy and um, that was what I kind of wanted to do. I kind of was like, oh, you know, I just want to be like super silly. But now like this new YouTube channel, um, I really want to encourage other people out there to just kind of be their self. That I want to let people know that they are loved and that God loves them. So um, also number seven, um, are you wearing perfume and what scent is it so i am wearing perfume and this is the perfume that i am wearing can you guys see that i don't even know uh, no no it's really hard to see oh there it is there it is uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well anyway so this is called indian coconut nectar um it is like a hair and body spray mist from target i love myself from target so there you go and then what's the next thing um number eight is tea or coffee i love coffee and i love tea but i love tea more um because you know i got my boba tea so i love it um what's your idea of your dream date i would say my ideal dream date would be going to disney world i think that would be a dope date i'd love to go on a date and go to Disney World. Um, what's your favorite song? That's like an impossible question. Like, I love music, so like, how could you pick one song? Impossible. Same thing, next question is, what's your favorite movie? That's almost impossible, but at the same time, from the top of my head, I'm stuck between like Lion King and The Hate You Give. Like, I know they're different, but like, I grew up watching Lion King and I would watch it over and over and over and I loved it. And then the hate you give, like, I feel like it's just so real. Like, if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it's a really good movie. Um, how, do, uh, number 12, how do you describe your fashion sense? I want to say, like, I have a very big mixture of fashion sense, but I'm probably the mixture of, like, somewhat girly and some days I have my 90s. And I'm trying to collect more, like, clothes in the 90s. I think the 90s is a dope era. I love the 90s, so that's what i would say like it's a mixture of things and then you know every once in a while i have my church girl vibe like you know i come out with the church girl clothing but that's kind of rare I, I still like um then the next question is what is your definition of beauty that is a pretty deep question i'd want to say like it's internal like having a characteristic that you can honestly say it's like very humble a characteristic that is like you're generally like a beautiful like very sweet and kind and 
it comes from your heart. It's not like your your intentions are for your own being. I feel like that is what beauty is. Um, but then there's like that outward beauty and it's just like attractive. Like something either you want to touch or something you want to be around, you know. Um, but yeah. Um, where do you live? I live in the U.S. <laughs> and then um, what's your annual bucket list? Um, my annual bucket list would be to just like get my classes done and continue having like the presidents and deans list. Like I just want to keep my grades up. But um, outside of school, I would love to see quarantine over and like go to Florida and just like go check out like Disney World again. Like just go, like have some fun. But if corn like if the everything going on um subsides that would be my added to my bucket list if not um i have to you know you never really know god willing everything will work out um what's a relationship deal with Verica? um i would say um a guy that doesn't believe in god like that's like very big for me. I wouldn't want to date someone who doesn't believe in God because I like feel like he's like I want him at the center of my relationship. So it'd be hard for me to like feel like we're gonna have the center if he doesn't believe in God. It's kind of almost impossible. So um, the next thing that would be like a relationship deal breaker would be like a guy that doesn't like know what like he doesn't have a motive like he doesn't know what he wants to do with his life. Like he doesn't. It's not like there's nothing like there's no goal in mind. He's just like chilling like it is what it is like no i need you to have a plan i need you to figure out what you need to do so we can get this we can get this life started um so that's those are kind of like the two big deal breakers for me um do i have bad habits i do i have a bad habit i used to like bite my nails um but i guess <laughs> one bad habit would be that like i'm like constantly always like going so like even when I'm still, like, I want to, like, I want to move, like, like, I'll even move my hands, my legs, like, I have that bad habit of not always wanting to sit still, so that's one thing. So the other question is, um, who was your first best friend? Honestly, um, like, I think I was in preschool, and her name was Gina, like, she's super cool, we used to go to church together, so we would just, like, sit down in church together, and just, Either I would leave my parent or she would leave her parent. We'd go sit down together. And then we would, like, sometimes go to each other's houses, sleep over. Like, she was pretty chill. Still, I still, like, every once in a while, like, I'll run into her, like, on social media. And I'm like, hey, how's it going? Um, she's so cool. Um, then um, one thing about you that people wouldn't know. Um, one thing that people yeah, wouldn't just know. Sometimes is, I just had that moment where I'll like put on a beat and I'll just start like rapping. Like I'll just go for it. And sometimes it's okay. And then sometimes, you know, it won't be all that in a bag of chips if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, and then do you have tattoos or piercings? These are the only piercings I have. The regular ear piercings. For a very, very long time, I did want a nose piercing, but it is what it is. Um, I wouldn't really go, like, hardcore and piercing. Um, but, yeah. Also, tattoos. I'm not, like, a, a big tattoo person, but I think that um, uh, what Kim Kardashian, I think she said it, like, would you put a bumper sticker on a Bentley? I'm like, okay. Like, that's kind of how I am, too. Like, I wouldn't want a tattoo because I feel like I'm, like... Like, once you, like, you can't put marks on this, this, but that's a little dramatic. But you know what I'm trying to say. Um, I just feel like my body's just something I don't want to write on. Unless it's, like, temporary. When I was little, I get the little thing and I'll draw myself. I was, like, silly, but that's how I personally, for my own personal being, you know, people can do what they want to do with their body. We have that free will. So watching, yeah, I was recommended to do the Q and A by Victoria. Um, I'm gonna put the link to her YouTube channel below, and continue to um, check out what videos I have coming up next. I post every weekend, and I hope that you guys have a beautiful, awesome, blessed day. Thank you so much.